What's up, you guys? Kario back again with another review of Attack on Titan. First off, I want to say I'm sorry that I haven't been able to catch up, but I just started playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I've been going at it. It's insane. That game is so fuck. It's so good. I've never played a game like that, and I I just haven't been able to uh, get around watching uh, Attack on Titan. Um, anyway, uh, this will be my fourth review, um, this episode is called Soldier, and what an episode, it's, it's, I, I really didn't see this coming at all, it's like, wow, um, the end is so awesome, um, if you have seen the episode, which I think you have, most of you, you know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Ymir, it's, it's so fucking unexpected. I did not think... Th I, I, I never... It's so weird. Anyway... Basically, what happens during this episode it takes place at the castle. I think the castle is called Utgard. And uh, everything starts like two hours prior to the, the attack. Uh, from, the, from the Titans. You know, the... The... the, 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 the uh, Attack from Titan. It's so weird when it's called Attack on Titan. I don't know. Anyway, the Titans attack, but the, the the episode starts like two hours prior to that or something like that. Everybody's like, um, it's in this castle, chilling, I guess. Um, uh, Reiner, Ymir, um, Connie, uh, what's it called? She's called Krista and Bertolt are there, they don't have any gear with them at all, and they have like some senior scouts with them. Anyway, uh, they, were, they were talking about stuff, and Connie mentions the thing that happened in his home village, you know, with the titan on his, um, uh, that, cr the, that, that crushed his house, that was lying there, and, uh, and... I thought that Ymir acted really weird when he was talking about that. She really over-exaggerated the situation by laughing at him and calling him stupid. Almost as, as if she was like, don't talk about this, you know? It was really, I got that kind of feel, feel when she was uh, talking to Connie. Really over-exaggerated. Super weird. Anyway, moving on. Um, Reiner... Uh, also becomes kind of suspicious of Ymir because he founds her, f finds her looking for food, like in a uh, in a room there in the castle, uh, like some leftover food or whatever it could be, and she finds this jar, jar uh, that says something on an, I guess like an Asian language or a different language anyway, uh, or something like that. Um, and she tells him that some sort of fish, I don't remember what, what the label says, but it's super weird because the label is in a different language, as I said, and and Reiner kind of noticed that, and I don't know, man, it's pretty suspicious that she speaks this language that she's not supposed to know, I guess, from the reaction we get from, from Reiner. That's basically only, the only thing that gave that away was the reaction we got from Reiner, to be honest. It's like... Uh, he seemed off for some reason, and it feels from that point on that they know some f something we don't. So, so basically, they have some knowledge that we we lack. Basically, uh, super weird uh, with that thing, which makes me think that the way he reacted like that, it's that only if he knew the language himself, which puts him in my watch list, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna come back to that because later on in this same episode he acts all weird, uh, Reiner mainly I think. Um, he's suicidal almost, he's super weird. But anyway, moving on, the Titans show up, the senior tells the kids to, to stay in the castle to barricade themselves uh, because they don't have any gear, you know? Um, so everybody tar uh, starts to barricade uh, the castle they run down from the tower of the castle and Reiner is like way before everybody. He's really anxious to to do this 
almost. It's super, it's a bit weird. Anyway, he comes. I think it's the bottom floor. I think it's almost at the bottom floor of this tower that they're at. And he in comes a fucking titan. He opens the door and he sees the titan. It's super fucking creepy. It's so creepy. How, they do that sometimes. I don't know. It really messes with me, you know, an attack on titan when, when they do this. Anyway, the, the titan looked really fucking creepy. He closed the door. Uh, I guess lock it. Or put like a like a wooden thing in front of it and stands like leaning towards the door um, and uh, the titan breaks the door you can see his arm and it's like when he encounters this titan he's I don't know Rainer feels odd anyway I don't know perhaps it has something to do with the thing with Ymir that happened previously to that but anyway the other guys run to his rec rescue base. They have like this big cannon that they drop down the stairs. And it crushes the Titan. It doesn't kill him, obviously. But he's totally crushed, basically. So he doesn't do anything. Uh, Connie has a knife. And he wants to cut it. You know, so, so he kill him. But the, they tell him not to. At that moment, a tit another Titan. Not a big one, but a smaller type Titan. Is approaching him from behind. Rainer... Uh, pushes him off and uh, he uh, he takes a bite to the arm I think and here's the strange part that I think about that it's alright he saved Connie that's that's good and all good times um, this motherfucker takes a chump a, a bite on his arm it's he's not through he's not eating the arm it's just like really stuck there you know with his big ass teeth and Reiner picks him up the Titan it's a smaller type but it still pretty fucking big you know and Reiner picks him up goes up the fucking stairs and he's on his way jumping out of the fucking window with the Titan and I was like wait a minute the fuck are you doing it's super weird when I started reflecting on that it's super weird that it's he was, he was gonna jump out. Connie stops him, basically. He he cuts up, uh, like, the jaw or something, the Titan, and then they, they kind of kick him out, right? But he, he was willing to jump off with the fucking Titan leech onto his arm, which, was, which I thought was really fucking weird, if I'm being completely honest. And I don't know, he seems to be suicidal for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. Um... So yeah, as I said, you know, he, he just seems a bit off, a bit too a bit reckless, you know, for some reason. Anyway, uh, Krista takes care, t takes care, take care of his wounds. Uh, she rips a bit of cloth from him, from her, uh, from her dress, and you can see clearly on Reiner that he's like, whoa, he gets a bit, you know. So he, I think he, I mean, I think I know he has a crush, a crush on her. Because he said something along the lines of like, oh, I'm gonna marry her, you know. That's what he's thinking to himself. And that kind of brought him back a little bit. I thought, you know. that he, Okay, so, so, so now he's not acting all weird again. Um, and, and that's the thing, you know. So now I'm, I'm, I'm like, I have this watch list in my head of different characters. I, I kind of, you know suspect could be uh, perhaps like Annie and uh, Yamir I mean she acted so weird when I was watching that well obviously I knew I know what happened since I've seen the episode and so do you if you're here listening but she wasn't on my watch list now Reiner is for some reason he, he he's acting all all weird so I don't know what's up with him. But anyway, um, Krista takes care of his wounds. They pour a bunch of alcohol on it and I guess disinfect it or whatever they did with the, with the thing. With, I think his arm should be broken at least, I think. Anyway, um, what happens after that is that, yeah, the Beast Titan throws rocks at the castle. The Beast Titan at this point is like on the wall basically and takes a chunk and toss it on to the on the castle 
killing the horses and I believe he kills two scouts as well like senior scouts uh, so this beast titan is uh, it's, it's been a bit of a problem if I'm being honest you know I thought it was really cool at first but this motherfucker is evil as hell anyway he killed the horses he killed two of the scouts and uh, the ruins, I mean the, the castle itself, the tower, is in bad shape already. I'm just saying. Maybe he'll throw something later on that... I, we don't know exactly what's up. But anyway... Um, at this point, the Beast Titan, I think he yells something. You know, he just made roar or whatever, he screams or whatever the fuck he does. And more Titans show up. So this motherfucker... Is in control of Titans, basically. Like they're 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 his minions, and he's throwing shit and 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 roaring and all things, you know. And it's so weird because I thought maybe that you know the Beast Titan was like perhaps like I don't know like like Annie maybe somebody's in there, you know, but we don't know who or maybe like Aaron. But the strange thing that I've been th that I've been really thinking about since that happened is that since episode one, second season obviously, he hasn't seen the gear before. He he didn't know he didn't know how it worked, you know. So that that was his first encounter with a scout, I think, and he was watching the gear, hmm, saying like, oh, interesting. So this is how they do this and that, you know. Or, so he's not. I don't think that this Beast Titan is like integrated to society as uh, as Annie was, you know, or as Eren is, or Ymir for that matter, you know what I mean? He seems to be an outsider altogether, so it's, I don't know what, I don't know what's up. Does he have any ties to, to Annie perhaps? Uh, a lot of questions, uh, I started to really think about, about those things. Um, after this episode was over. Anyway, as I was saying, back to the episode. Uh, now, basically, now they're fucked because this beast titan has called called a bunch of other titans. They're heading their way, uh, and it's pretty sad. Uh, the 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 last remaining part of this episode is pretty sad when the two remaining scouts die because they're really been kicking some ass uh, and they're been doing really good, you know. But it's too much for them. Uh, they're out of gas, strength, I guess, and everything. It's like they're, they're just, you know. Um, the girl, she gets teared apart by a bunch of titans while screaming for her dad. It's super fucking, it's nasty. And the other dude just wanted to have a drink. He found the bottle, but little did he know that it was empty because... They poured it all on Rainer's arm when they were trying to disinfect it, so he didn't get his drink. And some fucking Titan just dragged him out of, out of the, out of the window. Basically, that that was was happened, you know. And uh, so that motherfucker got eaten as well. So it was really, and you know, that's the thing I feel with Attack on Titan. It's like we didn't get too much backstory on these characters, but enough for make us to make us. It it was you know. I think her name was Nanaba, perhaps. I don't remember her name really. And the other dudes at Gil, 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 I don't know, something like that. But we didn't know them too well, you know, like we know Mikasa and Armin and and Jean and all these other characters. But still, enough for it to be like a loss. You know what I mean? It was kind of weird because the other two who died didn't really matter but these two they really did a good job by slaying a bunch of titans trying to do their best to save uh the other scouts but yeah it was too much for them they got overwhelmed and they ended up being titan food as uh, as uh, as many other characters uh, throughout this uh, series it's so it's so weird but i it was you know i don't know it was hard to watch anyway uh, it was hard to see because uh, we got to, we got to see a lot more of those characters in this episode. You know, I actually thought that they would be alright at the end, but nope. So now the end is here. The end is near, rather. Ymir takes a knife from Connie, 
Um, she tells Krista to remember their promise. Basically, as she jumps out of the fucking tower with a knife and turns into a motherfucking titan. That, that scene, when I saw that shit first, I was like, oh my god. It was so, you know, I, I would have loved to done a reaction to that or get back to that moment. Because it was so ex it was so unexpected, so unexpected. I did not have a fucking clue. I don't read the manga, you know, so I don't know what's up. And uh, Jesus, man, awesome stuff. I mean, talk about fucking cliffhanger, you know. Wow, awesome episode. I was I was really thrilled. I, I really loved it. Um, I start thinking about more things throughout the episode, you know, how many titans are there now? We have Eren, Annie, and uh, now Ymir. Uh, I'm almost certain that the Beast Titan has a person con controlling him or whatever you want to call it. And the same goes for... Um, what's the big one? The Colossal Titan and the Armor Titan. And we haven't seen those two in pff, fucking forever. But anyway, uh, that's what I think. So, so we have two dip different classes of titans. We have, I guess, uh, or I think, that's how I see it anyway. We have the ones that are, are, I guess, like the Colossal Titan, the Armor Titan, and Annie, and, 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 and Eren, and now Ymir, uh, with people in them, I think. I know, but and the other ones, I don't know if they have somebody here that... I don't know, it's so weird. They feel different somehow, uh, these other ones. Anyway, an awesome, an awesome uh, episode. And uh, next episode is called Historia. means history. And uh, we see, I guess, the backstory to Ymir... And Krista, so that'd be interesting to see what's what's up there. Um, seeing Krista's face when Ymir jumped out and became a Titan, and she was really like, "Whoa!" Uh, I don't think she knows. I don't think anybody knew. But uh, I don't know. We. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna try and watch the the next episode. Uh, during this week, maybe I watch two episodes, you know, and uh, try to play Zelda less. Sorry about that. But anyway, awesome episode. Really loved it. Cool that we have another Titan. And uh, hopefully she makes it out alive because there's a lot of other Titans there that she has to fight. So we'll see how she does in, uh, in the next episode, I guess. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, this is fucking awesome. This series is really fucking cool. I don't know what's taking me so long, as I said, this Zelda thing. But I'll try to get these reviews up as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, man, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.